I was eyeing the flagship card because I saw a lot of people saying that it was paying for their Amazon Prime membership. Mm. And that's part of the sign up bonus. Now, come around 2022, they were still paying for the Amazon Prime membership. Mm. It's still part of the sign up bonus. With most cars, once that, that year is gone, they're done with that. Navy Federal is still paying for my. Navy Federal flagship review. Now, this is one of the 35 cards that, of course, Sledge has. But, Dante, you you recently talked about this, uh, you know, the Navy Federal flagship in general, and they made it impossible to cancel. Can you tell us why that is or why you think that is? Okay. It's not, it's not that the Navy Federal flagship card is that much of a special card. Okay. The thing about the card is, you get three points per dollar on travel and two points per dollar on everything else. Now you can get those multipliers on other cars. The thing is the, the card also has a $49 annual fee, but with that $49 annual fee, you get global entry or TSA pre-check. Now for anybody that travels, which I would only recommend this card to you if you are a traveler and that's why I give you three points per dollar for travel. You, you're going to want to have TSA pre-check. You don't want to get to that airport and stand in those lines where you see 100 people in front of you. You want to get in that short line, <laughs> skip in front of everybody. That's right. And you're paying $49 for a $99 product. Mm. But that's not where we leave off at. I think I got the card in uh, 2022. Mm. Back in 2021, I was eyeing the flagship card because I saw a lot of people saying that it was paying for their Amazon Prime membership. Mm. And that's part of the sign up bonus. Now, come around 2022, they were still paying for the Amazon Prime membership. Mm. It's still part of the sign up bonus. With most cars, once that, that year is gone, they're done with that. Navy Federal is still paying for my Amazon Prime membership, along with anyone else who has gotten this card back since they first started. Now, we're talking about a $49 annual fee card. Okay. Amazon Prime is $139. Most of us shop on Amazon. Mm. Right? If you shop on Amazon and you don't have Prime, you sh I'm going to tell you, you should get it. Mm. If you have Amazon Prime, you should consider getting the Navy Federal flagship card because essentially you'll be paying $49 for that annual fee instead of paying $139 for an Amazon Prime membership. Right. And also you're getting that card, which is a travel card, which is giving you three, three points per dollar every time you stay at a hotel, yeah. every time you book a flight, every time you get on, on, on any type of transit, Every time you go to a, you park your car to park a lot, you right. go through a toll, any of that, right? Because of the travel card, right. you're paying $49, which a lot of people I know aren't into paying annual fees on cars and $49 as far as the annual fee card is a pretty small, you know, amount for most annual fee cards, but you're getting a lot out of this car for that annual fee. Right. Mm. Wow. And how much is again, that annual fee? $49, the lowest annual wow. fee of pretty much any credit card that I know of. Wow, man, that is something. So now let me ask you this. You've had this credit card for quite some time. This is just one of yeah. the 35 cards uh, that you actually have. How long have you had this credit card? I've had it since 2022. Got you, 2022. got you, got you. Okay, okay. Now let me, let me ask you this, Dante, because a lot of people... They know about the they know about Navy Federal credit cards. They know about the Navy Federal flagship card. Um, is there a Navy Federal credit card that you don't have? <laughs> well, the only one that I don't have, I I actually recently canceled the Go Rewards because mm. I've never had I've never had a secure card. Okay. I recently canceled the Go Rewards, and I know a lot of people would say don't cancel credit cards. Yeah. If you have, if you're not new to credit cards, if you're not new to credit 
if you have a longer if you have a long credit history it's no problem with canceling credit card it's right. not going to affect your your credit substantially it right. may knock off two to three points but mm -hmm. you're going to probably gain back in that same month you know mm -hmm. maybe in a few in a few days a couple of weeks you know yeah. because the um having it's about the amount of credit that you're losing yeah. now when i canceled the gold rewards i didn't just cancel it. i i transferred the balance from my gold rewards to my flagship card before i before i canceled it now i know i told you can calvin that you couldn't do that yeah but i found a backdoor way to do it oh man you got to tell us sledge tell them the back door way <laughs> okay navy federal no longer allows a person to reallocate their credit limits mm. the only way that you can do it is if you do a balance transfer mm. if you right. tell them you're doing a balance transfer mm. they will allow you to reallocate your your credit limit from mm. one card to another right right wow. so they don't know if you're doing a balance transfer or not because mm. you could possibly do one right. but if you if you go through a secure message and you tell Navy Federal that you're going to transfer your balance, you want to transfer your, your balance, excuse me, transfer your credit limit yeah. from one card to another, mm -hmm. they're going to tell you they can do it in, they're going to tell you they can't do it. Mm. But if you tell them that you want to do it as a balance transfer, transfer. they're mm -hmm. going to tell you that they can do it in increments of $100. They're going to tell you that if you have a Visa signature card, if that car is less than five thousand dollars, you lose your visa signature uh, perks. But the purpose of but what you're doing is transferring your entire balance. So none of that really matters. Yeah, right? they're going to say they can do it, and you just tell them you just tell them to go ahead and do it. Yeah. Wow. Now, I recently did this maybe three days ago. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Look at that. See, literally. See again. Dante is not just giving you guys this information. This is something that he has learned from experience. Just did this. And by the way, now this this also is something that um when do you to your knowledge, when do you know when like Navy Federal actually made that change as far as the reallocation of the limits? Is this something that they just started doing like this year or last year or No, this this had to be this had to be more than a year ago. Got you. Okay. It had to Got be you. more than a year ago because I asked before and they told me they weren't doing it. And some of my subscribers also came back with the same information. Yeah. I actually got the information from one of my subscribers on yeah. how he did it. Yeah. So wow. of course I had to see for myself. Yeah. But yeah, yeah it probably was it, it was over a year ago. Wow. Wow. Okay. Okay. Now let's now let's go into this. Of course, you have 35 credit cards. And for, for those who are just joining us, Dante got up to 37. 37 got up to 37 credit cards and this is what he said he says it's okay if you all are taking notes it's okay to cancel you no know, credit cards if you have enough history i want you guys to pay attention to that if you all have enough history enough accounts that's on your credit report that way when you decide to close something for whatever reason that you want to close that particular credit card it won't hurt your scores as much right a couple points here or there and this is i think where people get confused because they say oh well i close this credit card it really hurt my score and first off usually again that just means that you don't have enough accounts or that may be your only credit card